Hello! In today's video, we're going to look at understanding long sentences. Sometimes we read a sentence and there are so many words and we don't know which, which words to put with which words. So we're going to talk about sorting out the mess when we have multiple clauses in the sentence and some of them are what we call reduced relative clauses. I know this is lots of grammar talk and it can be a little overwhelming sometimes, but let's look and see how we can make this a little bit more simple. So first of all, we have to find the sentences that are long. And as a reader, you have to figure out what words or parts of the sentence go together. You have to look and find the noun or the noun phrase that goes with the verb. Think of them as kind of a, a pair. A noun and a verb always go together. Sometimes we want to look for verbs without helping verbs. You know, those is and are and was and were. Let's take a look at some examples. So if we look at an example where we have a noun and then a verb with ing, immigrants arriving. Well, we know that if it's a regular verb, present progressive or past progressive, it should have is or are or was or were. In this case, immigrants are arriving or immigrants were arriving. So this for us is a sign that something special is going on. We also look here and we see another verb, returned. And we have to figure out what's going with what. What's the main point of the sentence? So we have to look at the main, look for the main noun and find out what the main noun is here at immigrants and which is the main verb, arriving or returned. Well, we know if it's the main verb, it has to be a complete verb phrase. And here we're missing the was or the were. So what goes with immigrants in this sentence is return. So we look at the sentence and we say, aha, the main part of the sentence is only a small percentage of immigrants return to their native countries. Well, what about this arriving in the U.S.? Well, this gives us some extra information. And we look at it this way. Immigrants who were arriving in the U.S. returned to their native, native countries. So we look and we have to find what's the main verb, return, and what the main point of the sentence is. And then we look for the reduced verb. And what we can do is change it into the same tense as this one, immigrants who arrived in the U.S. returned to their native country. So we look and it looks something like this. Only a small percentage of immigrants who arrived in the U.S. ever returned to their native country. So by putting the na main noun and the verbs together, we're able to sort out the long sentence. Let's take another look. The major problem, ah, again we have that facing. We're missing the is or the are. The major problem is the increasing cost of medical care. So we found the main part of our sentence. And then we have to go back and say, okay, what do we do with this? The major problem that is facing health care systems is the increasing cost of medical care. Let's look at another one. Economic hardship caused many 19th century Europeans wanting a better life to immigrate to the U.S. And here it's at the end. Economic hardship caused many 19th century Europeans, what did it cause them? To immigrate to the U.S. So what do we do with this part of the sentence? We add this, Europeans, who wanted a better life. It tells us something about the Europeans. Sometimes we see a noun 
and a past participle or verb three. To, today's immigrants are following the patterns established by earlier immigrants. And patterns established, now that's kind of tricky here because it looks like past tense, simple past, but patterns really can't do anything. So that's kind of a hint that we're looking at the passive form. We have to ask ourselves, what patterns? Well, the patterns that were established by earlier immigrants. Today's immigrants are following, what are they following? The patterns that were established by earlier immigrants. Okay, let's look at another one. Most democratic nations have laws intended to protect ethnic and religious minorities. Most democratic nations have laws, that's true. Now what do we know? What were the, what about the laws? Are we talking about nations intended? or laws intended. So here we need to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Laws that are intended to protect ethnic and religious minorities. Refugees are not counted in the annual total of immigrants admitted to the U.S. So they're not counted in the annual total of immigrants. And now we're going to find out more about those immigrants. Immigrants who are admitted to the U.S. So what we need to do is realize that the who relates and refers to immigrants. Immigrants are admitted to the U.S. Sometimes we have a pattern of a noun being and the past participle again. That sort of complicated, confusing, too many verbs in there. Many of the drugs being used in medicine today are extremely expensive. So again, we're missing the is or are or was or were. So we have to look and say many of the drugs are extremely expensive. What do we know about these drugs? Well, the drugs are being used in medicine today. So it's telling us more about the drugs. Many of the drugs that are being used in medicine today are extremely expensive. Some of the people being treated with gene therapy are responding well to this new treatment. Well, first we want to find our main clause. Some of the people are responding well to this new treatment. What do we know about the people? What more information? That these are the people who are being treated with gene therapy. The number of tablets being used in school classrooms is increasing each year. So what do we know? The main number of tablets, what about them, is increasing each year. What about the tablets? the tablets that are being used in the school classrooms. So let's sum up. Look for the markers. And sometimes those markers are when we don't have an is or an are or was or were, those auxiliary helping verbs. Fill in the missing words like who and that and are and is and were. Find the main noun and the main verb. To find the main clause. That's your main point of the sentence. That's the important part of the sentence. And the reason we do that is because they make the sentences shorter. But sometimes shorter makes it a little bit harder to understand. And if you can stop and think and put it together, just like a jigsaw puzzle, you put the pieces together, you'll be able to understand the sentence.